Hi, my name is Mike Raper, I'm the brand director for North Foil. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview into our hydrofoil system. We call this a sonar, um, and it basically comes in additions, which come in two constructions. They all come in this beautiful bag down here, which fits all the different parts into it. One addition is in aluminum, which is more of a price point affordability package. The other one is in carbon. Um, now the difference in the carbon and the alloy is in the packages, the, the sonar foil addition packages, is that they come with a mast, they come with a rear stabilizer, S270, and a fuselage at 700. You then, as a consumer or a retailer, get to choose what of the many wings you want to put onto that addition um, for the sport, the rider level you're at, and the conditions that you're going to be riding in. So we try and put this, make, we give you guys a choice. It's effectively an addition plus a wing of your choice. And the cool thing is with the wings, you can sell them, you can upgrade them, you can change them, you can um, use them for different conditions. So that's kind of, and as a Sonar foil edition, that seems to be the main pack. You'll see a massive new range of high aspect ratio wings, which Oli, our um, designer engineer is gonna go into, product manager is gonna go through and all the details of these, but long story short, super high speed, ranging from 550s for you know towing in small waves, small groms, riding, winging. Um, Great for prone surfing, so the middle size is 850, 950, up to sort of 1150. And then obviously a 1450, those monster, highly, high, really fast, downwinding, pumping, gliding, 1450, 1250, a little bit the 1150, depending on your body weight. But basically these HAs have got a huge range. We've put in a, a lot of sizes, because we really want to help cater to every single sport and every single uh, rider weight and, and discipline. I think you guys are all pretty aware of our, of our um, Sonar MA. Um, so I just explained MA means medium aspect ratio and HA means high aspect ratio so you can just see by the, the aspect ratio of the wings these are about 10 and above um, and these are a little bit lower so you'll notice the profile um, thickness pretty thin really fast a um, lot of fun easy to get up on that comes in sizes 1050 MA 1050 MA 1200 and MA 1350 really fun super high speed for medium aspect ratio wing you'll be amazed how quick they are um, obviously a reflex wings 1850 the 1500 and the 2200R your go-to if you're getting into the sport these are the ones you want to get on they've got a really big planing surface which really helps you get up on the plane um, but Oli will go into details of those all right here we are at the north group with Oli summer how's it going good thanks for coming thanks for being here <laughs> yeah. uh, we're excited to have you take us through uh, some of your new north foils yeah and wings as you may know, we have different foil categories in terms of the shape of the wings and the application for the wings. So we have our R series, which are the sweep wings you see down there. We have our older HA wings here, and then we have the new HA wing, uh, sorry, new MA wings that came out um, last year, uh, spring of last year. And now we have the new addition to the family, which are our HA wings, our high aspect ratio wings. They come in a size from a 550 all the way down to a 1450. Wow, look how small. So it goes 550, 650, 750, 850, 950, 1050, 1150, 1250, and then there's a jump to a 1450. Very cool. And with that comes also a new stabilizer, the S208, which is our high aspect ratio stabilizer, the smallest currently in the offering. Cool. And all of these are um, completely modular with your sonar? Everything with the sonar system is modular. It's always backwards compatible. We will, whatever we do in the future, we'll make sure it works with the system you have. So what are people finding uh, with the performance of the new uh, high aspect? Yeah, so with, with the nature of any high aspect ratio wing, your um, coefficient, your lift coefficient, is really effective. So if you look at the formula or the equation for what defines the lift, mm -hmm. you got surface area in there, you got the speed in there, you got the density of the water in there. There's two components that are always changing, which is the lift coefficient and the area. And for the size of the wing, they are the most efficient ones in terms of lift coefficient. 
and that creates a, a very nice lift in the end. So what is quite unique is we have we run a very thin profile thickness, um, which makes the reduces the drag. So what, when we design foils, we look a lot of lift and drag curves and yeah. value them. We have all our foils in a database. Yeah. We value each new foil and we bench it off the old ones. Once we test the new ones, we get the results, we put it back in the database and we find out where are the gains. You know, we, we try to make as much work as we can early on in the design phase before we actually come to the prototyping. Interesting. So how many prototypes would one size go through in a typical design process? Not that many, nope. because we invest we, in. we invest the time up front. So yeah, yeah. on these swings, we basically had just two, two rounds of prototypes. Wow. And that's just in three sizes, and the rest was fine. It's, cool. it's pretty straightforward once you've done the grunt work in the beginning. So that's probably 70% of your time you spend in front of the computer. <laughs> For sure, testing comes in yeah. at the end, but making the wings itself later on, it's not that, that big a mission. Cool. Um, what, as far as the extensive size range goes, how does uh, someone who maybe is learned to foil and then wants to get into the high aspect foil, how yeah. do they decide which size to get? So a lot of, uh, yes, I admit it's quite a big range yeah. and we did it when we, like, when we drafted it up, it's like, this is a lot of foils. <laughs> yeah. But when we were starting to test each one of them, it's like, okay, but there's a legit reason to have an 850 or a 950 or a 750. Yeah. It comes a lot down to body weight. When it, these are designed predominantly for wing foiling, um, high speed wing foiling if you want, but they're very user friendly and beginner friendly as well. And not for the person getting straight into winging, but once you have made your first you know, journey into, into foiling, wing foiling, and you're outgrown, let's say in an R wing design or a bit more sweep, uh, lower aspect design, then this is very easy for you. They're very intuitive. So it comes down to body weight in the end. Say, if I go testing with Mike Raper, our brand director, he's about 93 kg, I'm 80 kg. Um, there's 12 kg difference between us. Yeah. I would be perfectly fine on the, in the same location on an 850, where he prefers the 950, just because, let's say, a 10 to 12 kg body weight makes such a difference. Cool. There it is. And so we've got the HA, and then this is kind yeah. of your... Just to run through, the smaller sizes, 550 to 750, they can be used in rather strong winds or for really light, uh, lighter weight riders. Or you can also use them for kite foiling. They're really good kite foiling wings as well, very fast wings. And then here in the 850 range to all the way to the 1250, that's uh, your average uh, wing weights. Uh, so winging wings in the, let's say, for my weight, I'd probably stop at a 1050 with 80 kg, but the heavier guys, they will go for 1150 or 1250. You get just a really nice glide out of them. The other nice benefit is um, we paid really attention to the tip ventilation, especially if you have high aspect ratio wings, leaving uh, healing over the board, you know, um, will eventually make the, pitch, uh, the tip breach at some stage, and our tips don't ventilate. So you can really come even out full noise or the back of a wave, you just put front foot pressure on again and you just ride on. It's no falling over, you know, you're not done yet. <laughs> so uh, as far as getting into the basics, who's getting into the 1850 in, in the traditional or I guess lower aspect? Yeah, style? so somebody starting with wing foiling and some of them also with kite folding the smaller sizes, they would be best off with a 2200R, 1850R, 1500R, depending on body weight. Okay. But uh, the nice thing about the reflex wings, I'm not sure if you, how you're familiar with the technology, it's a reflex profile section, which means that the trailing edge of this kinks slightly up. And what that gives you to you, if you, let's say you sit, uh, you sit underwater in a pool and you push a wing forward, yeah. because the flow that leaves the wing always uh, rips off in a downward facing angle okay. will result in a rolling motion of the wing so any aircraft will have the same it will start to do an arc circle basically when you push it forward underwater and that's why you need the stabilizer to prevent that and that right. gives you the stable ride now with the reflex section 
the flow rips are slightly less downward facing, more natural. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like building a stabilizer into the front wing already. So that makes a very pitch stable ride and that's what you want as a beginner getting into the sport. You want to not be mucking around a lot, you know, changing your foot position or body weight. You want just a stable ride. Yeah. And this one here just needs a minimum impact from the um, stabilizer to ride plain and level and easy. Very cool. And so the progression up into these more medium aspects? Yeah, so this, this, these are, let's say, our older HA wings. Um, okay. They are a little bit more prone foiling probably, yep. but the next progression up is the mid aspect ratio wings. Right, okay, these are the mid aspect. They are the AMA wings. They come in the sizes um, 1350, 1200, and 1050 MA. So we call them MA wings, mid aspect ratio wings. And they're uh, multi purpose. They are multi purpose wings. wings. Yeah, yeah. So especially the 1200 and, four, uh, and 1050. MA, they will be also very useful for kiting, a really yeah. stable wing. So they are a little bit in the evolution out of the R-wing series. They don't have, you can see, they don't have any sweep in the trailing edge. They're quite a straight trailing edge. Yeah. They have a neutral profile section. So it's not reflexed, but it comes close to. So also there, same thing. Mm -hmm. um, the flow does not rip off. Well, when it rips off, does not face downwind so much. It's a, it comes out a bit more neutral. So they are very yeah. pitch stable front wings. Okay. In talking to some of the um, foil designers, they've mentioned about uh, tuning the, the, the tail wings. Yes. Have you ever, um, yeah, we have a that? stabilizer kit for that. Okay. Cool. So, oh, sorry. We have basically have four shims here. They are stackable. They're color coded. Each cool. shim, each color stands for a certain degree. They're positive as negative. And with this, you can have from half a degree up to two and a half degree of stabilizer adjustment if you want. And you just put them basically underneath our stabilizer on the back, Very screw good. things together, works fine. Do you recommend that based on the, the rider kind of style or the, the speed with which they like to ride to like play around with those? Yes. So there's one thing with stabilizer, um, you got to match it a little bit to the front wing size. Right. So the, in the end, as speed increases, lift increases, mm -hmm. and hence needs your stabilizer, feedback needs to increase as well. If they are stabilizers not matching front wing, you always will have neither a nose down thing or a nose up thing the whole time. Okay. So therefore, shims are handy. At a certain degree, over shimming is not recommended. If you look at a lift curve of a stabilizer, because of stabilizers and nothing else in the front wing, just that the force is acting uh, down instead of upwards. Right. The same theory applies. If you look at a lift to drag curve, at a certain angle of attack, the drag just increases, but you get no more lift. And therefore you need to, let's say, stop shimming at three and a half degree. That's a differential between the front wing and the stabilizer as a, as a differential. So that's why our shim kit just goes until two and a half degree maximum, because after that it's not recommended. It's then better to swap to a bigger stabilizer instead of trying to shim it more because you're just creating more drag, not more forward momentum and not more lift. Very cool. So do these all come with each foil or do you buy those? No, you can uh, purchase them separately. There's handy instructions as your how it goes. If you lose that, there is uh, another sticker in the lid. Um, so basically, if you go for a negative shim, that gives less front foot pressure. If you go for a positive shim, that gives you more front foot pressure. Cool. I think that's a information that a lot of people getting into the sport eventually will know. The, right? Yes. So. I mean, our setups are tuned in a way that they're very intuitive. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do much to the system. It, right. it works as it is for you. If the retailer that has uh, you contacted has supplied you with the right front wing and stabilizer, yeah, sure. you just right. go out. Yeah. If you want to later on progress more, tech out a little bit more, find your stance, adjust your stance because that also has a lot of to do with where the foil is and where your foot stands is, mm -hmm. that you think you need something more unique in there, you go with this chimming and you yeah. start tuning your rig a little bit. Cool. Obviously, a foil that is made out of one piece would be the most efficient. So 
unfortunately that is very unpractical for traveling you know it would be the nicest setup though so what we try to do is mimic and come as close as possible to a one-piece foil setup which means front wing fuselage stabilizer and mast are all made in one piece we therefore invented uh, the geolock system which we use on our aluminium mast as well as well as on the carbon mast so our new mast series is the af series the carbon mast series is the cfc series um, basically it's a geometry locking connection the mast sits inside the fuselage it has two m8 screws um, all our system has complete m8 screws everything is labeled as well you can't mix it up however you actually the, the force of this connection between mast and fuselage gets um, transferred over the geometry, not so much over the screws. The screws are just there to hold it together, right. but the real force gets transferred over the geometry locking connection. So in the end, if, you, if I hold this here, you will see this is a really, really stiff mast, yeah. mast to fuselage connection. And that's, that's what we're aiming for. You gotta, from an engineering point of view, you got to treat all these connections as hinge points. And the more hinges you have in the system, the more energy you lose. So when you're riding along and you have a, it's basically riding with a car with worn out suspension, you know, rides really nice and smooth, yeah. but you're not getting any performance or any feedback from that. Right. Like an old GM. Like an old GM. <laughs> so the more of, the more you can eliminate the hinge points, the more direct your feedback will be from the foil. Very nice. And how many sizes does the sonar uh, come in? So the sonar mast uh, comes in three sizes currently. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a CF72, uh, a CF85, and we're just adding uh, a CF95. Cool. And eventually we'll also bring a CF105. Uh, and your whole kit comes uh, in, in a nice... Yeah, it comes in this nice travel bag. There's heaps of room for a second mast, there's heaps of room for additional wings, a second fuselage if you want. Um, the Sona Edition comes in two sizes, in two versions. So we have the aluminium version and we have the carbon version. Um, both versions come with our 700mm fuselage, depending on if it's a carbon version in carbon and uh, if it's an aluminium version in aluminium. The weight saving is probably on the fuselage 40%. So the carbon fuselage is 40% lighter than the aluminium oh, fuselage. Wow. It's, it's, it's quite significant since it's very low, it's a lot of swing weight as well. So you will notice the performance gains there. It comes, uh, the addition comes with a mast, a fuselage and a stabilizer. All editions come with our S207, uh, sorry, S270 stabilizers. That's our mid-range stabilizer, and that suits most of our wings, and therefore we decided to put it in the addition. So you also have a shorter fuselage. This is the 700 or yes. 70 centimeter, and then there's there's a shorter one. Why yes. would someone go with a shorter fuselage versus the one that comes? A shorter fuselage allows you a little bit more pitch ability, which is nice for proning or also for kite falling where you want to turn. Tighter, tighter, uh, tighter, tur tighter turns, yeah. basically because the stabilizer and front wing are closer together, that allows you that. Right. If you move the stabilizer further back, you gain pitch stability. So for somebody starting with a, uh, with a foiling journey, uh, you want more stability, definitely more pitch stability. So that's why we have the 700 millimeter fuselage in the Sonar editions. But obviously we have a 600 millimeter available in carbon and alloy if somebody wants to upgrade later on. Right. Sounds like all the bases are covered in the north booth on the winging front. <laughs> um, can we go check out some of the, the hand wings? Yep, sure.